Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Chapter 2, exercise number 2, help notes for Nahmad and Hay with a new Arabic grammar In this exercise we are translating from English to Arabic The first question is, the house is large So the first step is to recognize that this is a jumla, a sentence and it is an is sentence. Something is something. So we just bracket off the is because Arabic sentences, the Jumla Ismiya, does not have an is. Then we'll translate the first phrase, the house, al baytu, the al, and therefore the ta doesn't have a tanween. And a large is kabirun with the tanween at the end. So we get al baytu kabirun, the house is large. The is is marked by the shift from the definite to the indefinite. Question number two. A large house. First we rearranged it because the in Arabic we have the thing that is described first and then the describing words. A house and of course large is a noun so it must either be definite or indefinite and if the thing it's describing is indefinite, a house, it also has to be indefinite, a large. Then we'll put the words in, a house, baytun, a large, kabirun, baytun, kabirun. As you can see, this is not a sentence, it's just a phrase. Baytun, kabirun. Baytun, kabirun. Question number three, a tall man and a short boy. Well, we have two phrases, constructions with a, a noun and an adjective. Man, tall, boy, short and we have an and in between. We don't have an is. So a man, a tall, we rearrange the first phrase here, a tall man, into the order in Arabic. The thing that's described first, the man, and the word tall. And it's indefinite, a man. And how do we know it's indefinite? Because in, in English we don't repeat the a, we just say a tall man. And therefore the describing word also has to be indefinite, at all. And remains the same. Again, we reverse the order of this adjective and uh, described word, mosuf and sifa, a boy, a short. Then we plug in the Arabic, a man rajilun, a tall tawilun, and wa, a boy waladun, a short qasirun. So we get the final thing, rajulun tawilun, wa waladun qasirun. Next question, Hassan is a young i.e. small boy so first thing we recognize is the presence of the is so therefore we take out the subject the thing before Hassan in Arabic al-mubtada and the predicate the thing he is the khabar a young small boy then we <coughs> recognize that the small was just a helpful hint by Nahmud and Haywood so we just eliminated that and we rearrange this second phrase, which is actually a noun and its adjective. A boy, a young. So let's plug in the Arabic. Hassan, we don't need the is. Walad, sagir. Hassanun, waladun, sagirun. Remember, Hassan is a proper name, and therefore it's automatically definite. We don't need to put al. And since we're shifting from the definite to indefinite, that's where the is belongs. Hassanun waladun sagirun. Hassan is a young boy. Question number five. The river is narrow. So, we again identify the parts in our sentence. We can see that this is an is kind of sentence. So there's a bit before the is and a bit after the is. The bit before the is is the subject, the river. And the bit after the is is the word narrow. And we need to add a because we know that narrow is indefinite. The river, an nahru and narrow dayiqun, and we've eliminated the is. So the answer is, an nahru dayiqun. 2.6. A wide street. Note, this is not a sentence. So let's identify what we have is a word, a noun, and an adjective. So the word that's being described is street and a wide is the adjective. So we're going to rearrange the order. 
we're going to add a in front of street so we in Arabic we start off with the described word and then the describing word a street a wide a street is shari'un a wide is wasi'un we check the genders they're both male male so we don't need to do anything with that shari'un wasi'un this is not a sentence this is just a phrase 2.7 he is a new boy again we recognize the is so we're going to eliminate the is because we don't need that in Arabic. We recognize the bit before the is is he and the bit after the is is a noun and adjective, a new boy. The word that's being described in this part of the sentence is boy, hence the boy is bold. So we're going to rearrange the order. Boy comes first, the describing word second, new, and we have to add an a. We make sure it's indefinite and this is indefinite, check the genders, boy is male, new is going to be male so we have huwa for he, we don't need the is waladun for a boy, jadidun for new we get huwa waladun jadidun 2.8 an old broken door and again this full stop is a mistake, this is not a sentence so we want to identify the parts of the sentence so we have an old broken door is basically a noun and two adjectives broken and old so we put the noun first door we recognize that this an in English applies to all these three words they're all indefinite so we put an a for door a broken and old the order of the adjectives does not really matter unless you wish to emphasize something you might want to put that adjective first so a door is babun, a broken maksurun, an ol qadimun. Check the genders, male, 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 that's fine. Babun, maksurun, qadimun.